We got the lift done. Kind of go over a few details. 30 inch rock tanks, uh, five plus one wheel. It's a super ATV lift. Um, pretty simple. I do it all over again. Remove the front shock, the bottom bolt, and the top bolt because you can't get the shock down far enough to line up in that bracket right there. So you can't swing it low enough to slide up in there. I got it set on the high setting. I got I went full lift, but I ended back down the threads. It was sitting too high in the front. So I got two two point two five two and a quarter inches of thread left at top. I did have I took about an inch out. The back you take the shock out completely two bolts 18 millimeter and then you loosen the threads up i had seven inches of preload i'm now down to like five or five and a half um seems to ride okay i have only ridden it on the street i'll give you a stance of the back here it sat pretty level across the back now it kind of has an arch up that's the uh, the hitch there you can see how it faded I called them, they said they would give me another one for 50. I think they should replace it for free if I send that back to them. So anyways, that's the lift. Pretty simple to do. I will say the back bracket, when you take that shock bolt out, there's one bolt right up there that goes where the factory shock bolt goes. This side went in good, the other side it's just at a slight angle, you can't get that bolt through. And the directions say to drill out, they mean it. So you got a U-bolt up there on the frame, and a U-bolt down there on the frame. And this that one bolt that goes in the factory bracket. You got it set, it puts the shock more straight up. So, the hardest part was getting that top bolt through there. It's uh, not bad, it just didn't line up quite perfect. That one there I threaded through, the other side I had to uh, actually take it out and, and kind of ream it with the drill bit and then uh, kind of hammer it through. But that's how it sets. Um, I'm sure I could get it up higher, probably another inch, but I want it to ride good. So I've loosened the preload out of it to set it down. And you can tell there's pr plenty of front clearance. I didn't order the high clearance arms. Uh, I did order the rear high clearance arms, but they didn't ship yet, so I'll get those put on. The caster camber didn't change a whole lot. Works good. Got the STM clutches in there. Hopefully that'll hold up. I like these, these wheels just because they don't stick out too far for riding in the woods and trails. Yeah. I think it's actually like a 5 plus 1 wheel. Instead of a, I don't whatever else the options are. Four plus three. If you have any questions, let me know. This front bracket, pretty easy. You just take your two factory bolts out. It slides up over the factory mount. Two hands is better on that, I will say. You can do it by yourself, but it's a tight fit to shove it up. And there's only one bolt there. And one bolt there that holds it in, that's where your factory shocks did go. Got the factory Polaris mud flaps, door fillers, six speaker. I turn that mirror around upside down and drop it below. I like that mirror out of all of them, it's convex. Now I'm gonna do a snorkel kit. I think I can, I got the caps off here. For those of you who don't know, oh, that's the wrong side. That cap goes there. It's just one little wing nut. So my only question is, if I get three inch snorkels to tie into these rubber intakes here, uh, they're kind of got a groove. A lot of people don't know that either. They're kind of grooved in there. Do I put the cap back on and drill through that or leave the cap off? It doesn't look too bad with the cap off. Any other questions?
Feel free to ask.